Over the past week, the Justice Department has taken several actions to disrupt criminal activity by individuals working on behalf of the government of the People's Republic of China. Earlier today, in the Eastern District of New York, a complaint was unsealed charging two PRC intelligence officers with attempting to obstruct, influence, and impede a criminal prosecution of a PRC-based telecommunications company. The complaint alleges that in 2019, the defendants directed an employee at a U.S. government law enforcement agency to steal confidential information about the United States criminal prosecution of the company. The defendants believed that they had recruited the U.S. employee as an asset, but in fact, the individual they recruited was actually a double agent working on behalf of the FBI. Today's cases make clear that Chinese Chinese agents will not hesitate to break the law and to violate international norms in the process. Let me begin by pointing out that 10 of the 13 charged individuals we're discussing today are Chinese intelligence officers and Chinese government officials. They're charged in three different cases that might seem at first glance to be about unrelated issues. However, and this is something that I've been talking about for years now, each of these cases lays bare the Chinese government's flagrant violation of international laws as they work to project their authoritarian view around the world, including within our own borders. As I've pointed out before, their economic assault and their rights violations are part of the same problem. They both flout the rule of law. And one of the purposes of the Chinese government's repression is to make it easier to steal our innovation. They try to silence anyone who fights back against their theft, companies, politicians, individuals, just as they try to silence anyone who fights back against their other aggressions. 